there's a new feature in Windows 365 that can help you move as many cloud PCs as you need to from one region to another. But exactly how you do this depends on your join type and your network configuration. Here in the Intune portal, go ahead and click right over here to explore Windows 365 and then go to your provisioning policies. Notice that one of these has an Azure network connection and that pulls data from this tab right here and these are my own Azure virtual networks that I've connected to Windows 365. And this is required if you're gonna do hybrid join cloud PCs because you need to be able to reach your domain controllers. The other provisioning policy doesn't have one, which means it's using the Microsoft hosted network. And those cloud PCs can only be Azure AD joined. So let's click on our first policy. In the general section here, click edit, then scroll down. The join type is Azure AD, and you have the option of choosing the Microsoft hosted network or an Azure network connection. For this example, we'll leave it on the Microsoft network. Now, the way you move your cloud PCs is to change your region or your geography. So I could switch here from East US to East US 2, or I can go from East US to anywhere else in the world, like European Union. And then you could choose to leave it on automatic or pick a specific region click next, and then update your policy. And it's really that simple. Now, as for your hybrid joined devices, you do the same process, but it's more involved. And that's because you have to set up a new network first. So over here in the Azure portal, click to create a new resource and in the search box, type virtual network. Select your subscription and a resource group, and then give your network a name. Then you need a region, and you do need to select a region that's supported in Windows 365, and this list is linked in the video description. So I'll pick Central US, click Next, and then you can specify the address range if you need to, along with any different subnets that you want to set up. Once you're done, go ahead and create the network. And if you plan on using this network for your hybrid cloud PCs, you need to scroll down on the left and select your DNS servers switch over to custom and then type the IP address for your DNS servers. Without this, your cloud PCs won't be able to find their domain controllers. And if those domain controllers are in a different network, you'll also need to set up peering. That way you'll be able to connect these two networks together and have everybody communicate. With all that done, go back to the Intune portal and then click create for a new network connection. First thing we need to choose is the join type. And since this experience is slightly different based on which one you pick, I'll show you both, starting with the Azure AD join. Give your connection a name, select the Azure subscription and resource group where your network lives, and then select your virtual network from the list. Then pick the subnet you want to use. Click next, and then you would click create. For hybrid, you would enter all of those same details the exact same way, and then when you click next, you'll need to provide some domain information to complete the connection, like your domain name. And the OU path here is also optional, but needs to be in the distinguished name format. And you can get this from going to Active Directory Users and Computers, right click on the OU you want, go to Properties, then click the Attribute Editor tab, open the distinguished name and copy the whole thing, and then paste in your setup. Next is the AD username that has permissions to join the Cloud PC to your domain along with the password. Then you click Next and Create. Now Windows 365 will run through several checks on your network to verify that it can communicate with it and find your domain controllers, OU, permissions, etc. Once your checks come back as successful, go back to your provisioning policy, click Edit, scroll down, and then change your network here to your new network. Click Next, click Update, and you're good. Now the move itself can take a while, so it's recommended to do this during a long maintenance window or over the weekend. Now part of this process is also going to take a backup of your cloud PCs before it does the move, just in case. And to learn more about how that works and how to do cloud PC restores, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Happy learning.